everyone. It's Molly from Molly's Artistry. I wonder if I'll ever stop saying that. Um, I wanted to do a pour tonight um, with red, black, white, and metallic bronze. But I wanted to, and I just wanted to do a flip cut, but what I wanted to do was in between my layers that normally muddy, like the white and the black, or the red and the white to make pink, I wanna put a layer of Floetrol to see if that does anything to, cause it dries clear. And I'm wondering if maybe it'll help it not get so muddy. Um, so we'll see. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So. Um, I don't normally layer my cups off screen, but I wanted you guys to see the layering of the Floetrol. This is a 10 by 20 inch canvas, obviously scraped. I was trying pinks and aquas and purples because people had asked me to, and it definitely did not make the cut. So um, my paint thickness, if you can see in here, uh, I still don't like that thickness of my white, so I'm gonna give that just a second. A little bit more white in there. I like for my flip cut my paints to be kind of thick. And this artist loft, I mean, is almost thick enough for me without putting anything else in it. Um, the flow acrylic. Okay, that may be a little bit too thick, but whatever. We'll see. I don't have any more pouring medium. I just made like a small batch tonight, so. Whatever happens, happens. I'm off screen. I was just adding some more white to my mix. So I like for there to be, let me see if you can actually see what I'm doing. My hand's always in the way when I try to do this. I like for it to make a little mound in there. I don't think you guys can see it. I think the shadow is there. Um, all right, I'm just gonna get to pouring. So the real test here is going to be the white against the black and the white against the red. So I'm going to start with maybe red. So I'm going to layer in just a little bit of Floetrol. Into each cup. The Floetrol sits on top as well. Interesting. And then I do have three or four drops of silicone in each one of these. So I'm just gonna layer in my red and see what happens. I wonder how the silicone will react with the Floetrol by itself. And if anything or nothing will happen. I think I'm going to do my black next. All these paints are pretty thick. So I don't know if I'm going to get any cells or just background. And then I'm going to do my copper. Oh, I should have done copper and then because I might do another layer of black. I do a layer. I'm gonna do another layer of white. Ooh, that white is so creamy. Shoot, guys, I didn't spray my cups to get the paint out of there, but I hope it goes okay. Now I wanted to do a little bit of silicone over the white. I'm silicone Floetrol, sorry. Also see what happens after this dries and then I'm gonna do the black next again and see yeah that black is really thick down there in the bottom next. So 
you guys can fast forward this part if you want. No need to watch me put it in the cups. I just thought it was important to see the silicone. I mean, the I keep calling it silicone, the Floetrol part of this. Okay, I don't need a full cup of everything, so that will be my last right there. I'm gonna, after this show, I think, you know, if things keep going well, I'm gonna change up my studio. Somebody had recommended to turn my thing side, my, um, like make it like an island so that I could get a better camera angle. And I definitely agree I'm gonna do that. Um, maybe get some shelving for in here. It really just depends on, you know, um, how I do with this upcoming art live, uh, live art show um, next weekend and how I do at Arti Gras. Um, cause that will be my money, my funds to make more art. Okay. So I'm just going to let this sit for a second. I didn't paint the outside. Maybe I'll take a little bit of black around the edges right there. So I just wanted to say, you know, I made another full video with a pour. Um, but I just wanted to say thanks to everybody that has subscribed and that watches and that comments. Um, it really means a lot to me that you guys like what I'm doing. Um, and so thank you. <laughs> That's really about it. My mad woman ramblings that go on. You guys listen to them and comment. It's so nice. Really, it really is nice. This already had a bunch of paint on it before. It's funny. Okay, am I gonna have enough up here? I'm just letting the paint get out of brush right here. I'll just brush this on. I was using my brush earlier on something else that I was working on. Top secret. No, I'm just kidding, but I'm not ready to show you. I'll just brush that all the way across then. Okay, almost there, guys. So I've been trying to get away from doing long videos, but ended up there anyway, just because I wanted to show you guys this technique, really. Okay. Let's see what happens. It's going to be an experiment for all of us. Okay, kind of cool so far. There's a little bit of gray mixed in there, but we'll see. Again, the true test. Ooh, my cup is so pretty. Can you guys see my cup? Oh, my darn shadows. See what happens. I don't want to do too much. Don't want too many small cells to pop up. Looks like probably what's there is what's going to pop up. Let's see what's going to happen right there. So that looks like maybe a Floetrol layer on top. I don't know, I won't know until it dries, and I'll, I'll show you guys the dried result as well, but. <clears throat> Some of my cells don't look like they're gonna 
hold together and some of them do. This right here, I don't know really what that is going on right here. I think that's Floetrol, like I said, but we'll see. I'm gonna... People were also asking about these little sprinkler covers. If you look up sprinkler helmet, that's how you find it, because otherwise you can't really see it that well. Um, but anyway, they're like a couple bucks at Home Depot. All right, so I think I'm gonna go to this corner up here first. Um, I really like all those cells that are there. I really don't wanna get rid of any of those cells. They're beautiful. That. Oh my gosh, you guys. Wow. Can you guys see that stick? Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Wow. I might save that stick for skin. That is looks like leopard skin. Okay. Beautiful. Now I'm going to go to the other side. Bring that back to the middle. And then I'm gonna go over to that side a little bit so that I can go over those edges. Ah. This is beautiful. Now I'm gonna try to work my way down here. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna spin this around again. Okay, let me just touch up a corner real quick. in here this kind of looks like mud that's in here and I don't want it if it is maybe a little bit of mud but that's all right okay okay I was really just kind of procrastinating because <laughs> this right here is probably one of the prettiest pores that I've ever done these two sections and this section. This section's a little bit crazy right now, so I don't know how this is gonna stretch out. That's why I'm nervous. But I won't know until I try, so I'm gonna go ahead on over and down. Over and down. Over and down. over and down so see these got pretty stretched out up here but I'm gonna move the paint back I hate how stretched out those got up there should have been paying a little more attention. But it's coming back. My cells are coming back. Wow, you guys, this is really, really cool. Got some left in this cup still. Now the colors in my cup are really muddy, so I don't want too much to happen there. Like just from pouring them the way that they sat. I really wish I could have gotten that off, um, but I don't want to mess with it too much because I really like it. And this corner over here doesn't have a lot going on, so I'm going to have to do something right there. 
kind of liked the fact that it just kind of dribbled over a little bit right there and didn't go all the way down. So I like that. I'm gonna leave that the way that it is. This, I am pretty sure is gonna dry black, but we'll see. I don't, I won't know. Um, I won't know until I post, until I let it dry. more so I'm just gonna okay and like I said I'm gonna leave that this corner the way that it is I think paint's still moving a little bit Loving these cells right here. All right, let me take you down, guys. This has been long enough for a video. That's for sure. Yeah, I haven't done a 16-minute video in a while. But look at this. Look at how amazing those cells are. There's lots of little mini cells. I don't know if I can slide you in closer right there. Cells within cells. Oh, the colors right there, unbelievable. Look at the sides. That's pretty cool, too. Look at all those tiny little cells. <laughs> and then this section. Wow. All those little cells. Really cool. Okay, so that was my experiment layering in Floetrol. We'll see how it dries. Um, I can see a couple of cloudy sections right there and right here. And we'll see what happens with those. But overall, I love this painting. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, hi guys. This is Molly from Molly's Artistry, obviously. <laughs> um, I just wanted to show this pour after it um, has dried. I thought originally that that was going to dry from the Floetrol, but I think that that is um, some white that showed through. So this was... Um, the one where I layered the Floetrol in the cup. So they're going to be labeled Experiment 1 and Experiment 2 on my YouTube channel. Um, you can check out the difference. And then this is the one that I did um, without layering the Floetrol in between the colors. So this was just my regular pouring medium um, and just a regular flip cup. So a little bit of a difference. This one had a lot more kind of lacing through there with the white. Um, same consistency, same pouring medium. So I'm going to do a couple more experiments, I think, with this because I really like the look that I got with this with all the lacing that was there. This one's just kind of my regular flip cup. I mean, the cells in it are really cool. They're really amazing. Um... But this one, I really like the lacing that came through. And see all the little cells that popped up in between there? Um, so I'm going to try, I think, some something a little bit different with this, uh, with this layering of the Floetrol in the cup. But here are the two side by side. Um, and I like them both. And they're different. So I'm glad that I did the experiment. All right, check the videos out. Thank you guys. Bye.